What is up guys? So in this video we're going to be talking about the scary fishing bait challenge. I'm going to show you guys uh, what I've got, what I've done to rig it, and what I've come up with. But before we get started, today is October 31st which means it's Halloween. So guys, happy Halloween to everyone. That being Halloween, it is um, a time for the kids to go trick-or-treating and stuff, but a lot of people are watching scary movies right now. They're uh, doing a lot of pranks, putting out scary stuff for when the kids do come in and uh, trick-or-treat. So, I thought it would be an awesome time to throw out this scary bait challenge. Back to the challenge. I'm going to be doing the challenge. Bait and Lure is going to be doing the challenge already. This is going to be an open challenge, meaning that anybody that wants to jump in on the action can. This is not species specific, so you can go and target any species you want. All you have to do is create your own scary lure and go catch a fish with it. And then jump in and let us know, and we're going to go check you out. Uh, check your video out so uh, hope to see you guys and I look forward to seeing all the scary baits made and hopefully everybody catches the fish with it that'd be awesome I'm, I'm telling you this right now you guys are going to love this this is the craziest thing ever and you guys are not going to be disappointed this is by far definitely a scary bait and I cannot wait to see people try to top this because if they top it they are the king of scary baits I guarantee you, you guys are not going to want to miss this so let's go check it out so basically here's the idea we got this bucket of water we got chicken thighs chicken paws and then there's something there's this red kool-aid and something else i'll be showing you guys in a minute open up the red kool-aid pour it in here all right let's see use a plastic spoon stir it all up so this is really 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 red all right so now i'm gonna open up the chicken thighs And we are going to place them in there. So I've added some more water. Let's get this chicken paw package open. Wow, these things are really, really, really weird. <laughs> I'm just going to throw a couple in here for now and uh, let them soak in there really good. So, we've got that and I'm going to throw in some garlic powder. We're just going to mix in this garlic powder. So basically what I'm going to do is let this sit here and kind of marinate, soak in, turn really, really red and then pull them out put them on the rig along with the other thing you guys are definitely going to want to stick around for this because it is going to be crazy i promise you've never seen anything like this before so while we're waiting on that to uh marinate get turned really red let the garlic soak in and whatnot we need to go out there and grab a fishing pole because i need to show you guys how i'm going to rig this up it's going to be a crazy bait it's going to be a bigger bait a heavier bait and that calls for a crazy rig so i've come up with the rig idea too so let's go get the pole and show you guys the setup all right, so let's get started with the rig. So what we have is our fishing line here that's hooked to our pole. We have two pieces of tag line here, same length. Two, two five-aught octopus circle hooks from Team Catfish, three-ounce sinker, a barrel swivel, and then a peg float. First of all, we are going to shot our sinker on, and that's how barrel swivel so we got our barrel swivel tied off next up we are going to tie these off and I'm going to tie the simple snail knot <laughs> so put an overhead knot a little overhead knot there and we're going to run this in in the front of the hook, hold it together, start from the back, wrap around eight times, and run it back through. Pull everything really tight. Basically, we're going to do the exact same thing to the other line. So now, what we're going to do run a peg float or a line through a peg float and the other line through the peg float 
I generally use smaller peg floats with the Santee Cook rig, but this is uh, quite a going to be a hefty bait. We are going to tie off to a barrel swivel. I'm just using the improved clinch knot on this, by the way. I'm going to do this with both. Attach it to the same end here. Now I'll peg one side, I'm going to peg the other side, and there we have it. So this is the setup. We have the mainline sinker, barrel swivel, we have peg float, we have our two hooks on the end. Now, let's get this thing rigged up. This is going to be insane. You guys are really going to like this, I promise. So here we go, guys. Let's put this bait together. We've got everything here that we need. We've got our knife, we've got our rig, we've got this and then the special surprise is behind it we're going to bring out first but before we get started I want to say if you have not already subscribed please consider subscribing it would be much appreciated um, if you, again if you want to do this challenge please leave in the comments that you're going to do it so everybody can go down and check you out when you drop yours and uh, I wish everybody luck that does it so hopefully we do good and hopefully everyone else does good so here is the surprise bait a shad so I got an old towel, work towel laid down here to uh, help with this. These are pretty frozen, so they're good to go. So we don't need that piece. We do need this piece. This is going to be our head. So what we're going to do with this head is run it through the mouth and out the side of the gill plate and pull it. Boy, them frozen shad. Tough. Alright, so there we go. And then same thing to the other side. Next up, we got... And these aren't completely dyed yet, but I'm going to go ahead and just do it for the sake of showing you guys. So this piece is pretty big. Let's cut him up. Alright, so it's kind of started turning red already. It's only been in there for maybe an hour, if that. So here, we're going to run this through, try to run it through the fat and then pull the line through same thing on this side try to get a little closer view for you guys so we're going to run the hook here into the fat out the other side and then pull it all through now for the last piece of the puzzle that is going to bring it all together and that is going to be, shake these out a little bit, these chicken feet. So we're going to go through, that way we have plenty of hook gap, and then those are just going to set out just like this. So let me get the other one hooked up and we'll put it all together. So here it is guys, we got our chicken feet. If that doesn't look scary, then I don't know what does. Ran from the, there's the two hooks. We have, this is going to be, like I said, this only soaked for a little bit, but this is gonna be really blood red, so is the chicken feet, once it soaks in there all night. And then we have the head to our bait. We got the head, body, and feet. So if you guys agree that this is mission accomplished scary bait for sure go ahead and hit that like button and for those of you that are jumping in on the challenge again leave in the comments uh, that you're gonna do it we'll check out your video guys I'm gonna go after catfish again this is not species specific so hope to see you guys in it and we're gonna get this done happy Halloween